Welcome to 8-Bit Millie. As you may or may not know, I run a website called theatomarchive.org where we archive basically anything we can find concerning the Clego Atom. Software, technical diagrams, schematics, hardware, how-tos, magazines, everything. And I like to look at eBay and sometimes you come across some strange things. I have right here, as you can see in the screen behind me there too, a copy of the January 1984 magazine called The Family Handyman. And in it, they have a home computer, a special report that says, Home Computers, Toys or Tools? We answer the questions. And the reason why this thing stood out to me is they review the atom in it. So I'm going to show you a quick flip through of the magazine here, and I'm going to show you something else that kind of stood out to me too. Um, we don't see it anymore. So here we go. So as you can see on the screen here, this is a really old magazine from January 1984. It was the magazine for the do-yourself homeowners, the handyman, the family handyman magazine. I'm kind of fascinated with these older do-it-yourself magazines and do-it-yourself encyclopedias. When I was growing up, I had a copy of the, um, uh, it wasn't Popular Mechanics, but it was something like that from the Depression Age that showed you how to basically fix and build everything I had the whole encyclopedia my father had it growing up and then he gave it to me and I read it a lot when I was younger and eventually I left it in my bathroom and I would read that encyclopedia from cover to cover for over a decade every time I used the restroom so I was really fascinated with building things I never really got around to building a lot of stuff when I was younger because we were po and I didn't have the money for wood or the tools. My grandfather had the tools. And sometimes when I was living in San Diego, you could walk past a construction site and you'd see that they're tossing out a bunch of old plywood and old pieces of two by four and whatnot. And I'd load up my wagon. And this is when I'm about 14. I'd take it home and go borrow my grandfather's tools. He lived next door to me. And I'd start building things. I built me an observatory. I built me a telescope. I built me a wooden millennium falcon. I built me a desk. I built a couple of desks, actually. I built a lot of stuff. Anyways, the reason why I got this one is because they have a special report in it. Home Computers Toys or Tools. And I got this because they show the Clico Atom in it. And as I said in the intro, I run the Atom Archive, so I'm kind of interested in anything Atom. So, let's just flip through this thing here. There's certain things that stand out almost immediately when you flip through this book. This being one of them, cigarette ads. Lots and <coughs> lots of cigarette ads. There's other interesting things in here too. You can see, you can always mail in these things. Here's another cigarette ad. You can mail in things for <coughs> various patterns. You can buy tools. Different books. Five pounds of carpentry, I think that thing said. How to do things, reviews of different tools. Old pickup trucks, eh, another cigarette ad. <coughs> and here we go, the home computer toy or tool. And they do a lot of reviewing through this thing, uh, the various systems. And it's very interesting, <coughs> another cigarette ad. The um, stuff that you don't see anymore, they talk about um, telecommunications, public domain software, and whatnot. And then further on, these things like buildings or build it. Build-ons or built-ins, built-ins. Things you build inside your house. I've always wanted to do that growing up. I always wanted to like build beds into my house. You know, I got a house, I don't do it. The wood grain cars, they were nice. Continue on through here. There's some stuff towards the back that I always remember seeing a lot of when I used to go through these magazines 40 years ago. This computer desk here is fascinating, not only because it has an Atari 800 on it, but it's just fascinating the way it's designed and the, the ad or the thing coming up showing you how it worked, how it was designed right there. 
It looks really, really nice. That's something I would have loved to have had growing up. But there's this one thing back here that is, I've seen in so many magazines of the time period. And I'd like to know, did anybody ever buy this? Did anybody ever order it? Did anybody ever do anything with it? It's getting there. A small injury repair. I remember that. Everybody was fixing lawnmowers. Almost there. I remember the big tomatoes. You can buy the, buy the seeds for the big tomatoes. I don't know if they were ever big because I never bought them. Where is it? Did I pass it? I don't think I passed it. I'm looking for... No, I didn't pass it yet. Those right there, those dome homes. I always wanted the dome home. I always wanted to build one. They look so simple to build too. At least if you go to the park and you climb on the geodesic dome jungle gym, they look pretty easy to build. This right here, the well water kit. Anybody ever buy one of these things to drill wells for fun and profit? I'd be curious. If you did or you know anybody who did, say something about it in the comments. Then that projection, big screen projection TV, $29.99 for the plants. How's that going to work? And there you go. Oh, another cigarette ad. <coughs> Very interesting seeing all those ads for smoking. Maybe it's just me. I mean, I'm 12 years into not smoking. My wife just finished one year of not smoking. Or maybe society's changed, but they jumped out at me like, wow. It's like when they used to advertise medicine for children that had cocaine in it and stuff, like they did in the late 1800s, early 1900s. And it's like another time, another generation. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, there's plenty more coming. Have a great day. Be sure to like and subscribe now. Have a good one.